Hello, I'm Matthew Bielamont and welcome to another trailer reaction video. Today we're going to look at Rocco's Modern Life, Static Cling. And uh, this one is going to premiere exclusively on Netflix. But when it will come out, I just heard it will come out on Netflix, but any more news? Hopefully this trailer will give out more news. So, here it goes. Joe, come to Lamar. That's him! I just walked in my show back! You heard it here first, folks. O Town is. Mandy's Cartoon Souls Problem. Stack and Cling. The Rocco Special. August 9th. On Netflix. So, yeah. So, let me just say, there's come two times where we all feel like him. We're all relating to him. We all face horrors and troubles similar to his, and sometimes worse. And that's all I think of it. And sometimes, like, when today's problems, we feel like that... Uh, we just want the good old days back because life was simpler before all this madness happened like 9-11, war on terror, the economy gone bananas, Trump, and the things he caused. Yeah. But Rocco's Modern Life going back was a great cartoon. I enjoyed it and now it's being a comeback. You've seen, him, you've seen him make a trailer reaction about this before, and this cartoon was pure social commentary. So, I enjoyed it. I liked it, and uh, can't wait to see it. And there's like certain uh, Easter eggs there. Where it says Con, Conglomo, Joe, Joe Murray, Faya, Dow Jones. It says, News Chunk in the corner, live, Rocco saves O-Town, and he says, Schlamo energy drink in toxic waste spill, responsible for mutated badgers. And as we look further, and after he freaks out and shouts, I want my show back, and uh, you see, 90s cartoon solves problems, and... Uh, that wasn't technically a reboot, but the sign said reboot states pe pedantic jerk on the internet. Pedantic jerk on the internet. I mean, oh my gosh, this is like a total, uh, to total good joke there. I mean, Joe Murray, who created Rocco's Modern Life, later went on to create Camp Laszlo, and now made Let's Go Luna on PBS and now he's like making this a comeback and I enjoy it when I, I enjoy I want to see him make a comeback and it looks fun and this cartoon has social commentary and I like the character design and animation and there's like one scene where as the crowd is like uh, charging up to him before he yells, I just want my show back. Where he's like, ah, his tongue is, his tongue is wobbling. And uh, these, the background is like painted, which got, uh, which got uh, notoriety for being a technique done by John Chris Felucci for Ren and Stimpy. I mean, Rocco's Modern Life, specifically Joe Murray, his cartoon was an influence during the production of my safety film, Tech Central's Guide to the Color Code Alert System, three years ago. Because if you watch the word threat morph into a villainous face, there's a lot of Joe Murray influence to it. And uh, if you watch the part where the angry guy slams a desk and the recorder flies off, 
you'll see the background change to more angry colors because originally I want to make it become a actual painted background with actual paint I just paint it on paper scan it and then do that technique but uh, do, there was a lot of time constraints and it was like messy so I decided to go digitally and hey that still works too and it's a nice little homage to John Christopher Lucci. Don't give me that lip. I want him a rant or there's going to- But going back to another homage to uh, Joe Murray, there's one scene where the policeman, the security guard, arrives to the scene and tells the angry guy, Okay, what's the problem? And the angry guy turns around and he starts screaming. And as he screams, you not only see him turn yellow, but you hear a sound of a human scream, a school bell, and an elephant trumpeting all at the same time, which is like something you'd he hear in or see in an episode of Rocco's Modern Life or any 90s cartoon. Right, is there a problem? That is uh, Rocco's Modern Life Static Cling. If you have Netflix, give it a watch. While you have Netflix, shouldn't you be watching a cartoon with a secret agent mouse with an eye patch and has like a panicky hamster for an assistant or sidekick and goes around fighting an evil toad? You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. So this is Matthew Beelman saying, see ya.